This is to explain the whole process of ClickView. So on SharePoint, click View Reports and uh, go to US Fundraising, FY20. So this is the front end of ClickView. This is what the users access and what they see. Um, so I will explain how data gets populated in here. Uh, the revenue is taken from an export out of Salesforce and the expenses are configured directly from um, Abila, which is Finance's database. Uh, if you go into this app, the ClickView app, there's a connection, an ODBC connection directly into their database. So every night, an export runs out of Salesforce of all the revenue, and then the ClickView app takes that uh, file and updates it into this interface. Let me show you the, the back end. So let me open up the actual ClickView app. Um, you go to the Q drive, source, production, and let's go into the US fundraising FY20. So don't make changes to this because this is like the production version of ClickView. I'm just going to walk you through it. So you will rarely have to go into the actual app. What you will have to do for FY21, go into the back end. I'm clicking this thing up here. This takes you into the script and it's very complicated. Uh, we had a consultant write this whole thing in the back end. But for FY21, you have to go to the budget tab and here, line 42, just highlighting it. You will have to change this to FY21. I'm just going to change it back. And it's also down below. So it appears twice on this budget spreadsheet, 21. And you're going to uh, uh, reload this, and then th there's a save button. Um, uh, the save button will activate once you reload it. So that's what you have to do in FY21. You can only do that once the budgets in finances system are complete. So do not do this on July 1st. It won't be ready. You need to coordinate with finance, and uh, once they give you the official, okay, the new budgets are in Abila, then you can do that FY21 step. So I'm going to close this, or I want to show you how the um, data gets exported every day out of Salesforce. So I'm going to go into the remote desktop. This is the data desktop uh, VM01. So on the um, data desktop, the remote desktop, go to task scheduler and click this and go to the click view dump. So let me double click it. So this runs every day at 12.30 a.m. And this, I double clicked it, this opens up demand tools. And it's hard to see here, but it runs a demand tools job that exports um, a, do a donations file. And the donations file will be called donations SF2 CSV. Cancel that. And then the second job that runs is a constituent file that exports. Then, so those are two CSV files that get exported to the Q data um, folder. And these are the two files that get exported out of Salesforce every single day. Then, this gets a little complicated, 
um, click view. Uh, that these are very big files, as you can see. So click view. So there's an app called. Um, it's under source production. SF Builder QVD. This runs once those CSV files are exported, are created. This app takes those CSV files, those big um, files, and converts them into a .qvd file. It's just a more efficient type of file. It's like a smaller file that ClickView can read easier. So this runs first. It converts those CSVs into a QF QVD file. Then the actual um, this app runs and then this app runs with taking into account those QVD files. Um, and the way that ClickView runs automatically is in the console. Uh, it's this, not many people have access to this. So uh, do the drop down, go to fundraising, and So this was the last time it ran, and this is the next date it's supposed to run. So this happens to be today's date, and again, I can see it's going to run tomorrow morning. And then this is the UK app. Same thing. It ran today already, and it's going to run tomorrow. And this SF Builder is what I mentioned. This is the thing that converts those big, big CSV files from Salesforce, converts them into it like a more efficient QVD process. And this thing runs first before this and this. So in fact, we could see it here. This ran at 8.30 and this ran at 9.10, the US one, and then the UK ran at 9.21. So it's, it's all organized to run uh, sequentially. So I want to show you what to do. Uh, there's two potential problems that may arise. One is uh, a new staff member joins and they don't have access to ClickView and they ask you for access. So what you have to do, go to documents, click the thing here. There's a lot of junk here. So US fundraising, you click on it. Um, actually click the drop down next to it. So click on this and then this pops up. These are all the users that have access to it. Click on distribute and click on the person thing and type in the new person's name. Let's say their name is John. Use an asterisk. Press this. And let's say this is the new user. Add. Press OK. I'm going to cancel it. And press apply. Just to double, double check that it's saved. Then once you add the new person, you can wait till tomorrow because the app will refresh or if he need he or she needs access right away go back to status and you can press this um, triangle and it'll run which means it'll refresh and then the new person can will be able to see it so that's one uh, issue that you'll have to fix the second one is if someone's looking, let's go back to the user version, what people look at. This down here, revenue as of 225, um, this means that the latest revenue, the, the latest donation, the most recent donation is from this date. So sometimes people will notice that, hey, this is like an old date. It looks like the data, the app has not been refreshed. It's like showing old data. That does happen once in a while. Uh, the cause of that is that the data dump didn't work. That daily, let me open it here. This task scheduler thing didn't run. It's supposed to run every day. For some reason, maybe it failed. Who knows? Um, and then that will affect this. So what you have to do to refresh the app so it shows the latest data, you actually have to rerun this data dump. So let me cancel this. Again, 
open up Task Scheduler, go to Clippy Dump, and you could just right click it and press Run. So that will run these two exports. Uh, these are the two CSV files that will be exported. It will take a little while to run. Um, once you press Run, Demand Tools will open up and you'll see the um, export running and you'll be able to see when it finishes. So when these two jobs are finished, when Demand Tools finishes and closes, you will then have to go into the console, no, excuse me, into, yes, the console, and you'll first have to click the SV Builder, press Run, and then once that is done, once you press Run, you can press Refresh, and the word waiting will turn into running. And keep pressing Refresh, Refresh, maybe about after a minute, the word running will return to waiting. So that's me. that means it's complete. And then you can rerun each app. Uh, the US Fundraising, same thing, press that and press that. And then on the front end, once you go back to this, you'll see the date has been, oops, the date has been refreshed. So again, just to briefly recap how to fix ClickView, if it's showing old data, go into Task Scheduler, ClickView Dump, run this, Demand Tools will open and you'll see the export happening. When Demand Tools finishes exporting, you will go to the ClickView console, rerun first. SFQVD Builder, just right click that, and when that is complete, then you can run the US fundraising app and also the UK one. That's how you fix it.